No, all right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through. Hungry? Stop by the teacher's office and get yourself a Holtzman donut with some cereal on it. Maybe some fruity pebbles. All right. Thanks to Vivian who pointed out I needed to make a couple more videos to help explain this stuff. Find the exact value of each trig function. Well, if it just said find the value of each trig function, I hope you would just, uh, let's see, tangent of 135. I hope you would turn on your calculator and type in tangent of 135, enter, and you get negative 1. Sweet. Like, you could have done that. Uh, for cotangent, you'd have to do 1 divided by parentheses, the tangent of 210. What does that give you? Ah, so the point is the calculator will not always give you the exact value, okay? But you can just sketch a picture and use the reference angle. So that's why we needed the reference angle video. So number seven, tangent of 135. Sketch a 135 degree angle. Sketch a reference angle. Make a right triangle. If this is 135, then the reference angle is 45 degrees. That makes that 1, 1, and radical 2. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. 1 divided by 1 is 1. Cotangent of 210. So here's how you do this. 210 degrees takes you to there. Reference angle is 30. That makes that 1, 2, and radical 3. Cotangent. Cotangent is adjacent over adjacent over opposite. Is that right? Adjacent. Yes. So that's radical three over one. So the exact answer is radical three. Notice the calculator gave us that wild answer. But what is radical three? Bam! Amazing. So that's how this is working. The cotangent of negative 90. So we're going this way. Now, there is no reference angle there. Okay? So, um, cotangent is adjacent over opposite. Now, another way to think of the cotangent is if you can get this point. This is the point like... Uh, 0, negative 1, if we just made our R1, okay? So, the cotangent would be, let's see, adjacent over opposite. It's x over y, and I touch on that in the very first video. So this is going to be 0. Let me check it in my calculator. Cotangent is 1 over the tangent. So 1 divided by parentheses tangent of negative 90. Close them. Okay, now so I did it wrong. I think that's right. Domain. I think that means... Oh, I need to... Let's try that. Let's try that. Good. So I did this wrong. It's not zero. It's, see, it's, a j, it's x over y. Let me go back to this. Tangent. Let's say this is the point a, comma, b. This would be a and this would be b. Tangent is b over a. So cotangent is A over B. Cotangent. It's X over Y. It's 0 over negative 1. I'm a little confused about that. And we're back from the commercial break. After a long conference with Mr. Pletz, we now understand what's going on. This is kind of wild. First of all, I want you to know that for once in the video, I was actually right. The answer to number 9 is 0. Okay? 
and um, that's because if you do adjacent over opposite, it's 0 divided by negative 1, which is 0. The reason that does the calculator won't do that for us is that the tangent of negative 90 is undefined. And according to your calculator, 1 divided by undefined is still undefined. So this just shows you that you can't always use your calculator to do these, which is really the point. We're doing the exact value. We have to do them by hand. Okay, so let's do one more. Cosine of 405. So we go 360 degrees, and then we do 45 degrees more. So this is actually the easiest one of them all, probably, because the reference angle is just 45 degrees, because it's in the first quadrant. We know that this is 1, 1, and radical 2. So the cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse. It's 1 divided by radical 2. But they won't like that. The ACT is going to rationalize that. So they want it to be radical 2 over 2. Boom!